Just imagine, the intensity of hatred between Sabretooth and Wolverine reached such a terrifying level that in one of the latest stories, after another birthday gift from Sabretooth, Logan decides to cut off both his legs and both his arms, to then release his claws from the remnants of his arms and continue hunting his archenemy. Over many years, the villain gifted Logan with horrors on his birthday. He maintained this ritual in the latest issues, reaching a real peak of madness and cruelty. Going far back into the past, we see two brothers sitting at the dining table. Victor asks Luther to share a piece of pie with him. Luther declares it's his birthday today, and he will have the whole pie, leading to a fight between the boys. Their mother enters the room to stop the brawl and sees a horrifying scene. Victor has killed his brother by sinking his fangs into his artery. Afterward, as if nothing happened, he starts eating the pie, telling his mother they were just playing. Later, we see the boy's father using pliers to pull out his son's fangs and chaining him in the basement, screaming that his boy has a demon inside. If these devilish teeth are pulled out, then they won't grow back. He has already lost one son and does not intend to lose another. After the father leaves, the boy asks his mother to let him go. The woman replies that she can't, her husband won't allow it. Victor responds that she should not fear the father, she should fear him instead. A year later, the young man bites off his hand and seizing the pliers, breaks into the house and brutally kills his family, enjoying the pie on his brother's birthday. Years later, young Victor meets Logan in a bar, helping him in another bar fight. During a conversation, Victor admits that this was just a warm up and he hasn't started showing his true self yet. Logan says that some things irritate him, especially those concerning women. Before the pair leaves, Victor warns his new friend that his lady, Silver Fox, is really sweet, but in the end, she will make him feel bad. They always do. Several months later, on Logan's birthday, he finds Silver Fox dead, covered in huge claw wounds. Smiling, Victor says he warned him about this and congratulates him on his birthday, asking not to thank him. A bloody fight begins between the former friends, leading nowhere in the end, as they both have an extremely powerful and regenerating factor. It's worth noting that Wolverine truly loved this girl with all his heart, and throughout many comics about him, we see our hero's memories of that day, how his beloved died. Once, the villain even implanted in Wolverine the memory that he supposedly killed the girl that day. But of course, this is not true. Many years later, Victor agrees to work in a team called Weapon X. A few minutes later, he meets Wolverine in the same team. During a fight, they are separated and injected with a sedative. After that, their memories are erased for more productive work together. Two years and many joint missions later, their memory begins to return, and Sabretooth once again presents another birthday gift to Logan by brutally killing a girl who was the main suspect in their case, and whom Wolverine had certain feelings for. Victor declares that Wolverine constantly needs to be explained that attachments make him weaker, but he is ready to help his friend by giving him another present to remind that. After many years, the two mutants meet again in a bar, and everything repeats, a cycle that the cruel psychopath gifts Logan over many decades. Sabretooth first targeted Wolverine with a birthday gift in 1987, a cruel tradition escalating over time. Recently, he formed an army of headless clones and four intact generals from the multiverse, aiming to deliver Wolverine the most horrifying birthday present in his 50-year saga. Sabretooth brutally kills Wolverine's son Akihiro and a couple of random mutants. After that, he lays out a birthday greeting for Logan in the snow from the remains of their bodies. Although Wolverine was not close to his sons for a long time, recently they had grown very close and started to love each other with all their hearts. And so, Sabretooth left his old enemy such a terrifying gift this time. Wolverine falls to his knees in horror, screaming that now there is nothing for him but revenge and hunting his arch enemy. After killing a couple of his enemy's clones, Wolverine finds himself suspended by hands and feet, and to free himself, he cuts off all his limbs to avenge his son's death. He goes to his daughter Laura, who, in the meantime, tracks down and kills several of Victor's generals. But when Wolverine comes for his daughter, he finds another birthday gift in the form of a blood-soaked box. It was a gift from his daughter, which she intended to give him for his birthday. We learn that Sabretooth has not yet killed the girl, but put her in a cage. The most interesting thing is that all this time, Sabretooth did not try to kill Wolverine himself. 
He admits that he just wanted to return the old Logan who worked with him earlier in the team, more fiercely and heartlessly. Despite all these horrors, Sabretooth, though not openly admitting it, tries to return some semblance of the friendship they had in the past. And yes, all this sounds just crazy after such cruel and terrifying deaths of loved ones. Wolverine not only hates Sabretooth, he makes him his archenemy for the rest of his life. But the thing is, Victor is a psychopath. He thinks not like a normal person. Let's remember his interaction with his brother and parents. He doesn't understand how relationships work. And for him, such cruelty is a gift he's ready to deliver to his friend. If you found this video interesting, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and drop a comment below with your thoughts or questions. Your interaction is the fuel that keeps this channel growing and our community vibrant. We're in this journey together and your support means the world. Thanks for being part of our family here. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video.